Hi friends, it's Miss Barbara from 4C. I sure miss all you guys. One thing that I really, really miss is having snack with you every day like we do when we were at school. So I thought today we could make a snack together. How about that? And I thought since it's springtime, why don't we make some kind of a snack that ties in with springtime? I don't know about you, but I've been seeing some butterflies. Do you remember how butterflies are born? Remember when we did the life cycle of the butterfly? Butterflies come from caterpillars. So I thought today we could make a fun snack that looks like a caterpillar. What you're going to need is a cheese stick, and it doesn't really matter. It can be any cheese stick. You're going to need some pretzel sticks, and you're going to need some raisins. So you need 12 pretzel sticks and 12 raisins. But before we get started, make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water to make sure that they're really clean before you touch your food. So count with me and make sure I have the right number of pretzels and raisins. Okay, so count with me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we know we have twelve pretzel sticks. Let's count the raisins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have all of our ingredients. Okay, and take your cheese stick out of the wrapper. I've already started mine. And if you have trouble getting it out of the wrapper, get a grown up to help you. Okay, so we have 12 sticks and 12 raisins. First thing we're gonna do is put the raisins on the end of the sticks. And we're gonna put 10 legs, five on each side, and two antenna because caterpillars have antennas see just like the butterfly does they have the antenna okay so let's take a stick and you kind of have to form squeeze the the raisin to get it to stay on there because they are raisins are a little sticky so get those on there Probably should have already had these done. I had a sample done so you could see, but anyway, that's okay. So I hope you guys have been watching the digital learning videos and keeping up with your schoolwork and also having some fun time while you've been home. And I'm sure you still probably have a snack every day. So this will be good. This is a snack you can make on your own. So you can feel like a, that you're helping out to your moms and dads and grandmas or whoever it is that's watching you on a daily basis. So you can help out by making your own snack. Sorry, this is taking a little longer than I thought. Okay. Oh, this, this raisin's not wanting to cooperate. Oh. That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it later. And it's okay if you don't have these ingredients or if you don't like these particular ingredients, if you don't like raisins. I know most of you do like cheese because I remember seeing a lot of you had cheese snacks either for your snack or at lunchtime and I know some of you ate raisins and pretzels but if you don't have these things or don't like them you can make it just look around and see what else you could make these out of and that will be fine but I like these things okay now we're going to use five one two three four five 
You're going to slide these in, just kind of stick them in the side. You just poke them in there. And it's okay. The raisins will probably fall off, but you can just stick them back on there. Because you're going to eat them and you're going to take it apart anyway. So what we're doing now, we are, we are assembling. Assemble means to put together. So that's, a, I don't know, that might be a new word for some of you all. So say it with me, assemble. That's three sounds, assemble. Clap it out with me, assemble. So that's three sounds or three syllables. So we are assembling or to assemble our caterpillar. Okay, so now we have five legs on this side, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna put five on this side. And then we got to put the antenna on. This will probably work better with a round piece of cheese, like a piece of string cheese, but this is what I had. And it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. Whoop. Then we put the antenna on. And there's our caterpillar. Isn't he cute? Oh, he looks so cute. Now, before we eat our snack, what do we need to do? We need to say our snack prayer. Have you been saying your snack prayer every day when you have your snack? Well, we're going to do it today. So prayer hands, everyone. We thank you for our food, Lord, for mom and dad and you, Lord. We thank you for our food, Lord, and for our family. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you had fun making your own snack, and I have, hope you have just as much fun eating it. But for now, Miss Barbara's going to say bye-bye. See you next time.